Hello students, in this video, I examined the concept of linear independence. In a, another video, I went through the topic of linear dependence, and um, I recommend that you um, check out that video, maybe come back to this one, or maybe um, watch them and then um, rewatch them um, so that this uh, concept can uh, sink in and that the definition um, doesn't uh, befuddle you. All right. So what does it mean to be linearly independent? It means that this um, linear combination of vectors, um, if you set it equal to the zero vector, then the only way that that could be true is for C1 to be um, equal to C2 to be equal to C3. In other words, all, the only way to make this true is if all these coefficients are zero. All right, what does that mean? Okay. Um, well, let's uh, set up the definition. So here we have C1 times V1. That's this vector here, 1, 2, minus 3, plus C2, V2, plus C3, V3, equal to the zero vector. So I've just written the definition. The linear combination here is set equal to zero. Now, I can write this um, linear combination as a linear system. Remember that this looks like matrix vector multiplication. I have C1 times the first column. So, this would, so if you think about multiplying this matrix times this vector, that would be C1 times the first column plus C2 times the second column plus C3 times the third column. That is how you do matrix vector multiplication. So I've taken this linear combination. I've written it as a linear system. That's equal to the zero vector. Now I row reduce this um, system and I get um, this echelon, this matrix in echelon form. And um, I now find, if I look at the pivots, 1, 1, 1 here, that means that the only solution, the unique solution to this system, is that C1 is equal to 0, C2 is equal to 0, and C3 is equal to 0. So the only constants that make this linear combination equal to the 0 vector, the only constant that can make this true are 0, 0, 0. So if you try to write, for example, take 2, 5, minus 2, if you try to write it as a linear combination of the other two vectors, you can't do it. And what I mean by cannot is the only, uh, well, actually, you just can't do it. There's no, no way that you can get C1 and C2. Um, you can find numbers that will make this true. You might think, oh, well, what if I take um, C1 and C2 equal to 1? Because 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. Oh, minus 3 plus 4 does not equal minus 2. And you could try to play that game all day, and you're not going to make it true. All right? So that's how this linear combination up here relates to linearly independent. It means that each of these vectors cannot be written as a linear combination of the remaining two vectors. That means this vector here, 2, 5, minus 2, for example, does not depend on these two vectors. They are independent. OK. Um, so none of these vectors depend on each other, and that makes them linearly independent. And that comes from this definition here. Okay, good luck.